Imagine placing an apple inside a completely airtight box and seal it. After a century, the apple would almost certainly be nothing but dust. The apple contains chemical energy, and that energy will eventually escape, causing the apple inside the box to heat up. The particles will begin to undergo nuclear fusion. If there are about 10 to the 24th particles in an apple, those particles can exist in 10 to the power of 10 to the 24th possible configurations. If that box existed for a truly infinite amount of time, those particles would go through every possible configuration. And at some point, they would once again adopt the shape of an apple. Within infinite time, any object that could exist in the box will exist and it will exist an infinite number of times. Why does this matter? Because the universe could be that box. In any finite region of space, like the observable universe, there is a finite amount of energy distributed among a finite number of particles. And that finite number of particles can only be arranged in a finite number of distinct patterns because there are only finitely many ways in which particles can be organized. If space is infinite, then the pattern of particles must inevitably repeat. This means that somewhere in the cosmos, there will be configurations identical to yours. An infinite number of us, copies of you that continue, and copies that die at any moment. Even if these copies existed, they would be so far away, far beyond the cosmological horizon, that we could never reach them. Light is the fastest speed we know, and according to relativity, nothing can surpass it. And worse, the universe expands faster than any signal could ever travel. At those distances, light becomes terribly slow compared to the universe. So if we live in an infinite space, maybe we've already been here before. Perhaps we are occurring right now, replicated across the cosmos. But from our point of view, we are alone inside our own box. 